Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Troy. Today I'm going to do some bacon wrapped shrimp. It's a dish that, uh, that Karen found, uh, you know, or came up with herself. I can't remember. I think she got it from a friend. But uh, it's not your ordinary bacon wrapped shrimp. So y'all please stay tuned. Check this out. It's really good. You can use it as an appetizer or for a main meal like we do. You can grill it. You can bake it in the oven, however you want to do it. Um, but it's great, y'all. It really is good. In fact, I gave the recipe to my brother, Sean, uh, over at Moonshine's Roadhouse. And he and uh, his uh, camera guy, Mad Dog, uh, they, they made a video of it, too. So y'all might want to go to his house, uh, over to the Roadhouse, and check it out. So stick around. Let me show you what we're working with today. All right, everybody. This is what we got. Main ingredient, shrimp and bacon. And these are some uh, fairly large shrimp. You don't want to use the real small ones. These are a uh, 16, 25 count. Uh, gonna need some jalapenos. Yep, we're gonna make these some fiery shrimp wrapped in bacon. Uh, water chestnuts sliced up. You can leave these out if you don't like water chestnuts. But they, they just add a little crunch. Um, tiger sauce, y'all. This is great stuff. If y'all have not tried this, do as the bottle says right here on the top. It says, try me. Really, this is good stuff right here. It's kind of got some heat with some sweet. It's, mm, I like this stuff. Uh, use it on my ribs, too. Y'all may have seen me doing the ribs. A little bit of cayenne pepper. And some kind of Cajun seasoning. I'm, I'm going to use some Slap Your Mama. Um, and again, like I said, I've got some uh, ground beef and a uh, Tony Sachery's boxed dirty rice mix. I'm going to make some rice on the side. So uh need to cook off this bacon first. Partially cook this in the oven or on the stove uh, about halfway, three quarters of the way. You know, where it's still limp, but not, uh, not so cooked that you can't wrap it around the shrimp without it breaking. So go ahead and partially cook this. I'm going to peel and devein my shrimp. We'll meet y'all back here shortly. All right, gang, we are back. Peeled and devein my shrimp. This is a uh, 10 fluid ounce bottle of tiger sauce. I'm going to pop that in there. If you, don't, if you can't get tiger sauce, uh, maybe mix some sriracha with uh, maybe some Worcestershire or something. Uh, also got some Slappy Mama, like I said earlier. I'm going to put that in there. This tiger sauce doesn't really have a lot of salt in it. That's why I'm adding some salt with the, uh, the Cajun seasoning. A little cayenne pepper, just for good measure. Okay. And what you want to do is whip this all about, let it marinate. Ooh, probably, uh, I usually go about 8, 10 minutes. You know, 8 or 10 minutes. If you let it go more than about 14 or 15 minutes, that tiger sauce is going to start uh, cooking the shrimp, and they're going to get all mushy. So don't let them sit very long. I say 10 minutes max is usually where I go. But we'll get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, my shrimp have been marinating for about 10 minutes. I got my bacon partially cooked, jalapenos pickled, and uh, some water chestnuts. Got some toothpicks too down here. And you can wash this sauce off if you want, but I, it doesn't bother me. Anyway, this is what you do. Get your shrimp, actually put your water chestnut and then the jalapeno, kind of like that. Can y'all see that? Water chestnut and then jalapeno, or if you want the jalapeno to flavor the shrimp even more, put the jalapeno on the inside next to the shrimp. Either way, it's all going in your belly anyway. Right? Right. Okay. Toothpick that baby up. You can double the shrimp, you can put water chestnut and uh, jalapeno on both sides if you want. Just do it your own way, y'all, but this is really, really good. That water chestnut gives it a nice crunch. Of course, the jalapeno gives it some heat, and uh, we we just we love these, absolutely love them. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna continue doing these, and then we're gonna take them out to the grill. I think it's still light enough outside. We can grill them. Be right back. All right, gang. I wind up getting 24 shrimp out of here, and I've got my grill on medium. I'm just going to stand the shrimp up just like so and we're just going to cook them until they get done so let me do that be right back y'all let's fly in on these babies there you go baby oh yeah 
They're looking good. They about done now. Just gonna pull them babies off. All right. Let's pull them off. See what it tastes like. All right, gang. We are done. I know them shrimp taste good. I've been sampling on them. Jambalaya, I've had it before, so I know it's good. But you guys haven't had it. So I'm gonna show you that it tastes good. But first I'm gonna give a shout out to my buddy Sal. His channel is The Root Boy Cooks. If y'all aren't subscribed to that kid yet, y'all need to give him a chance, man. Check out his videos, he's really, really good. And also, my buddy, about 10 miles, not even 10 miles, 10 minutes from my house, uh, Tom's Test Kitchen. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Look forward to cooking with you again, bro. All right, let me show you what we got here. This is a fine, fine appetizer, or as in my case, I'm gonna make it a meal. I did some garlic bread uh, with some mozzarella on top. And these are, these are the little shrimp seeds. Let me get it going for y'all here. Uh, uh, oh, heck, any of them are gonna be good anyway. Anyway, y'all see that? It's good stuff, y'all. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Fixing to eat that bad boy. Check this out. Oh man, <laughs> my mouth's watering right now. <laughs> Take the toothpicks out too, kids. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. This ain't your ordinary bacon wrapped shrimp. That tiger sauce is key to this, y'all. But I know my brother Moonshine used some uh, sriracha. He said it was pretty good. So anyway, that's good, y'all. I'm gonna try a little bit of this dirty rice. Mm. Mm. I hadn't had dirty rice in a while, y'all. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all joining me again. If, if y'all haven't already heard, I did it on my last video. Uh, a bunch of us got together and we, we got a new Facebook page up. All Star Barbecue Bloggers. If y'all haven't checked that out, please do. Not only my videos are there, but all of my friends that are out on YouTube that do great, great cooking videos. Barbecue especially. Y'all check these guys out. I'll put a link below the description. See y'all next time. Cheers.